I have scoured the near endless pages of Curse Forge to find the best 1.17.1 Forge mods for each section of Minecraft. Do you want the best bio mod? The best mobs mod? Or how about the best food mod? I have compiled a list of what I think are the best 1.17.1 mods for Forge as of right now. Before we get into the video, I'd like to announce that I have made a Discord server. It's still a work in progress, but you're welcome to join anyways. To start this list off strong, let's take a look at the best biome mod for 1.17.1 Forge, which is the Biomes of Plenty mod. This mod adds 50 plus new biomes for both the Nether and Overworld. Unique vegetation, formations, and custom sound effects can be found in most biomes. There is a slew of decoration blocks to obtain and also an advancement to complete by visiting all 82 biomes. For the structure side of things, we have the Castle in the Sky mod. The mod adds in a massive castle which is heavily inspired by the animated film Laputa, Castle in the Sky. To find this castle, you must obtain a levitation stone from a master level cartographer villager, using the stone like an eye of Ender. The castle features puzzle rooms, loot rooms, labyrinths, and the levitation crystal chamber. You will not be able to break or place blocks until you deactivate the levitation crystal. The loot found in the castle is the best vanilla loot I have ever seen a structure yield. You can expect to find fully enchanted netherite armor, elytras, and blocks of diamond, emerald, and netherite. The More Ores in One mod is the best mining slash caving mod I could find for Forge 1.17.1. There are six new ores to find in all three of the vanilla dimensions. Five of the ores are used to craft armor and tools, while the other ore, Experience Ore, is used for gaining experience. Each ore has its own special way of spawning. You can find all the details on the download page of the mod. Along with the five sets of tools and armor, there are also five different types of horse armor. The best mobs mod currently for Forge is hands down the Alex's Mobs mod. This masterpiece of a mod adds in 50 plus new mobs, all of which have their own unique mechanics and interactions. Some of the mobs are based on real life creatures, while others are purely fictional. There's also a boss fight after the Ender Dragon. It's called the Void Worm. There is a small amount of armor, tools, and weapons to collect. The mod also adds in new potions, food, enchantments, and advancements. I had trouble finding a good boss mod, but ended up settling with the Dungeons mod. This mod is a jack of all trades type of mod. It adds in 12 structures, 9 bosses, 16 mobs, and 14 new items. Several of the structures are homes of the bosses in this mod. The bigger and more dangerous the structure, the better loot you can expect to get. The bosses are really strong especially the Void Master and the Sun Boss. You get special loot and an advancement for defeating each one of them. Here are my two favorite mobs from this mod. The Note Head, which is based on the creepypasta Siren Head, and the Whirlwind. The best item slash gear mod is the Super Tools mod. I was originally going to go with the Silent Gear mod, but I decided to change to a mod that is a bit easier to understand. Super Tools adds armor and tools from already existing materials from Minecraft. Each armor set gives a different amount of armor points, and a few give special effects. There's the Super Tools set that adds in strong tools that give special effects. The mod's download page gives descriptions over everything. Currently the best building slash decoration mod for Forge is the Builders, Crafts, and Additions mod. The mod adds a variety of new blocks, panels, pillars, hedges, and support brackets. The mod also adds in a variety of furniture, tables, pillows, stools, counters, shelves, benches, and sofas. Most of the furniture is interactable. Oh, and there are arcades you can play on as well. For the food slash farming section, I have chosen the Croptopia mod. There are new vegetation and trees scattered around your world. They can be harvested for food. The raw foods you collect can be eaten on their own, or you can combine them with other ingredients to make more filling foods. There are a decent amount of drinks you can also make. To make some of the more advanced foods, you will need kitchen utensils. There are frying pans, cooking pots, mortar and pestle, and food presses. Lastly, you can mass produce your veggies and fruits by making farms. Gather the seeds from their respective biomes. Minecraft wouldn't be the same without its dimensions, and so here is the best dimensions mod for 1.17.1 Forge. The Dimensional Dungeons mod adds a singular portal that can be used to go to a number of different dimensional dungeons. The portal must be constructed in a certain way for it to work. Instead of flint and steel or eyes of ender to activate the portal, you will need keys. Craft link keys and right click the inner part of the end portal frame to get a random key. Each key will lead you to a different dungeon when used on the portal. 
The dungeons vary, but don't be surprised if you run into repeating rooms. There are traps, puzzles, mobs, and loot in each dungeon. Last on the list, we have the best vanilla friendly slash quality of life mod currently for Forge, which is the physics mod. Blocks will have a crumbling like animation when broken, mobs will ragdoll on death, and blocks now have gravity slash structural integrity. Be careful when modifying your house or mining underground. You can change the settings on almost every aspect of the mod. Change the gravity, the crumbling of blocks, and the ragdolling of mobs. A few things to note about this mod is that it's not shader friendly, it won't work with most mods, and the structural integrity mechanic will make your world fall apart with or without your interaction. I made this video with all the mods installed at once, therefore these mods can be played together if you want, but do it at your own risk. Do you agree with this list, or is there a mod missing that should have been included in this video? Tell me in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, drop a like on the video, and make sure to subscribe for more mod related content like this in the future. And as always, Krimlitz, stay snazzy.